you and I love when we are invited. And you and I sometimes we're invited so much times that we have to turn down the invitations that are given to us. The day for us, they're all beautifully dressed and they're making their way to this place where they're invited. Tonight, when we dress ourselves on the outside, we must be sure and certain to dress ourselves on the inside. Tonight, when we fast and we starve our bodies, we must remember to starve the qualities within us of lust and anger and hatred and jealousy. With God, all things are possible, but goodly, godly people do not remain angry forever. Goodly, godly people may get vexed, but they never remain angry forever. Sitting on their vahans and passing, they all passing over this place called Mount Kailash. And passing over this place, what will happen? Listen, it tells us. Yahavidhi kala beti kachage hu Sunabhu paagaje sahabe hu Ek samay ni jadhar ni dhadari Ubaraha ki ne giri jakumari hu Jai gana na tau jai Shri Ganesha Jai Gana Natao Jai Shri Ganesha Passing. They pass over this place called Mount Kailash. And passing there, they summon the attention of Parvati Devi. Who is now Sati? She is not Parvati as yet. They summon the attention of Sati Devi. And Sati Devi, she looks at Lord Shiva and she shakes him. And she says, oh Lord Shiva, all of the devatas and all of the devis, they're going to some event. How come we're going nowhere? Why were we not invited? Have you ever heard or saw something taking place that you were not invited to and you wish you could have gone? So too Sati Devi sitting there, Sati Devi looks at Bhagwan Shankar. Hey Bholenath, hey Pashupati, please, I am begging you. Can we too accompany the devatas and the devis? And Lord Shiva, what will he say? Lord Shiva says, We were not invited, O Sati. And Sati, hearing the words of Bhagwan Shankar, what will happen? Listen. Tanukarami taraju chuta aai Bhulara haso utamana kaha ki bhe Vicharah balakarachi kaha ki bho Hidayah nantaha tan sanji bho Karaho ho bhagavan Karaho ho bhagavan Karaho ho bhagavan Karaho ho bhagavan She looks at Lord Shiva and she says, Lord Shiva, can we please go? And Lord Shiva, hearing the words of Sati, Lord Shiva says, without even thinking, he says, Sati, no, we will not go. Have you ever wanted company to do something and everybody who is in your company refuse? Have you ever gone to the beach and you go with the intention of bathing? You walk with your clothes and you walk with everything. And then everybody else who accompanies you say they're not bathing. So you have no choice but not to bathe as well. So to Sati Devi, she says, Oh Lord Shiva, can we go? And Lord Shiva says, No, Sati. We were not invited and so we will not go. And Sati, placing her hands together, Sati. Tanahu Sanjeevan Karahu Bhagavan Tanahu Sanjeevan Karahu Bhagavan Jai Ganana Tau Jai Shri Ganesha Jai Ganana Tau Jai Shri Ganesha Lord Shiva refusing to accompany Sati Devi. Sati Devi, she begins to cry. No good husband wants to see his wife crying. No good husband wants to make his wife unhappy. No good person wants to make anybody unhappy. Well, intentionally. And so Sati Devi crying, Lord Shiva looks at her 
And Lord Shiva says, why cry, O Sati? Do you know there are some people they cry for everything and nothing to? There are some people they only have to hear something that sounds sad and they begin to cry. They only see somebody else crying and they begin to cry. They look at the movie and in the middle of the movie they're crying because their emotions are overwhelmed by what they're seeing. Sati Devi. Crying and crying and crying. What will happen? Lord Shiva does something. Listen, it tells us. Hari Chita Subhaya Hinari Shai Gananaya Katanahi Kahakidha Pravisa Hatanaya Hashish Karapesu Jabadin Kinha Sanji Rampati Hu Sati Devi, she looks at Lord Shiva and she says, Lord Shiva, you have advised me not to go, but I'm already dressed and what I'm wearing seems to be very appropriate. And so I don't have a problem. With or without your permission, I'm going to follow the Devatas and the Devis. With or without your permission, I'm going to ask, I'm going to follow the Devatas and the Devis. Have you ever asked somebody's opinion, though you already know? You stand up in front of the mirror for an hour and look at yourself to make sure you're looking nice. And then you walk outside and you look at everybody and you say, how am I looking? But you already know. You have already identified that you're looking good. But you still want the opinion of those around. And then one will say, put your hair on the other side. One will say, put your shawl the other way. One will say, change your shoes. The other one will say, change your pants. And everybody will have a different opinion. But you have already made up your mind. And you have already decided that this is what I'm going to do. You've already decided this. And so Sati Devi deciding, what will happen? We join in this beautiful bhajan as Naraji sings for us. And so Sati Devi, she's about now, against the wishes of Lord Shiva, to follow the Devatas and the Devis. What will happen? The Katha will tell us. Ganesh Bhagavani Ki Jai. Sati Devi looks at Bhagavan Shankar and she says, Lord Shiva, Though I was not invited, I've already made up my mind and I've decided that I will go. I'm already dressed. Have you ever heard of somebody going to some place and you figure, well, you're already there and you're already wearing good enough clothes, so you'll just accompany? Have you ever done that before? We all Trinidadians are guilty of that. Sati Devi has decided that she will go with or without the permission of Lord Shiva. And deciding this on her own, Sati Devi, she makes her way. Where is she going? Listen, it tells us. Hari Chita Subhaya Hinari Shah Gananaya Katanahi Kahakinha Pravisa Hatatatanashi Parapeshu Jabakinha Kin Sanji Brahmahi Ho Sanji Rama Patata Bahi Sabat Sanji Ram Patata Bahi Jay Ganena Tau Jay Sri Ganesha Jay Ganena Tau Jay Sri Ganesha She decided that she will go and she decided that she'll make her arrangements by herself and she decided that she'll have no more discussions with Lord Shiva. Have you ever decided that you'll have no discussions with a person before? And then you can't help it. You have to talk to the person you're vexed with. Why? You're vexed with your husband. But then you go to sleep on the same bed and he says something to you, Good night. What will you say? You say, what is so good about the night? Sati Devi, she has decided that she'll make her own arrangements and she will go on her own. And Sati Devi leaving the company of Bhagwan Shankar, Sati Devi makes her way. Only to realize that the Devatas and the Devis, they're going to the home of the father of Sati. 
only to realize that it is a father of Sati who is hosting a function and he has not invited Sati Devi. You and I will think that when our relatives and our family, they're having an event, we don't need an invitation. Sometimes you are not invited because. Sometimes you are not invited because. Because of what? Many different reasons. So when you are not invited, then don't be too quick to go. Some people say to you, anything you see that we have, you don't need an invitation, just come. Have you ever heard that before? Just come, you don't need an invitation. Sati Devi, what will happen? Sati Devi realizing this. Sati Devi, listen, the beautiful Doha tells us this evening. As Sati Devi makes her way, she enters. And Sati Devi realizes that her father, he is ushering and he is welcoming everybody. And he is placing them in their various seats to sit. And so Sati Devi seeing him, Sati Devi smiles. And when Sati Devi smiled with her own father, he never smiled back in return. Have you ever seen a person who is so vexed that they wouldn't smile? Have you ever gotten so angry that somebody smiled with you and you refused to smile? We all Trinidadians talk the truth. Sati Devi, she looked at her father and she smiled. She uttered no words. And her father never responded. And so Sati Devi looked at him and she says, Oh, Pita, tell me. You have invited all Devatas and all Devis. Show me the place that you have consecrated for Lord Shiva and myself. And so I will go and I will sit there very quietly. And the father of Sati says, What place are you talking about? Oh Sati, you were not invited. And so there is no place prepared or designed for you to sit. And so Sati Devi hearing these words, Sati Devi, she looked around and she looked for a place to sit. Have you ever gone to a function or a place and there are no more seats so you look for a place to sit? And you just sit anywhere. If you are early, you can come up to the front. But if you are late, you'll find a place anywhere where nobody will see you. You will sit anywhere so that you will not disturb and nobody will see you. So Sati Devi, she looked around for a place to sit and there was no place vacant. And Sati Devi wondered, what must I now do? Daksha looked at Sati and she, he says, Oh Sati, I have not invited you and so I have not made any preparations for you, oh Sati. And Sati, there is no place for you to sit. And Sati hearing this, listen, this is what Sati does. Suta sunna bola vachana hi bhavani Sunatana mango ho mana hi bhavani Gupadhana Baby 
to sit there is nowhere to sit so Sati Devi she observes that there is one place where she can go and she can sit and it's in blazing fire it is in the Havan Kun Sati Devi makes no hesitation Sati Devi she rushes to the Havan Kun and Sati Devi looking at her father Om Namah Shivai she chants and Sati Devi goes and she sits in the fire sometimes you and I we feel as though we are sitting in the fire Sometimes you and I feel as though the heat is on and so much that we do not know where to turn to. The old people, there is a proverb that they use, you jump out of the pot and into the fire. So too, Sati Devi is not jumping anyway. Sati Devi makes her way and she sits in the fire. There are many times in our life when we too will feel as though we are sitting in fire. There are many times in our lives when we too will feel as though we are placed under fire. Always remember, the diamond only shows its brilliance after, after it goes through vigorous pressure. The gold only shines after it goes through a lot of penance and hard work. And then you see the potency in what is called gold. And so too when life throws out it, its problems, and we feel as though we are under fire. That fire is only geared at helping us to become better. That pie is only geared at helping us to remember what we can do and our capabilities that we think that we will never be able to do. And so Sati Devi, as she sits in the fire, what will happen? The screams of Sati Devi can be heard. And as Sati Devi begins to scream, Lord Shiva on Mount Kailash, he hears. And as Lord Shiva hears, what will happen? Listen. Bitanapana Pavana Boi Jo Hamakini Osuna Sutta So
Sati Devi goes and she sits in a fire and the fire begins to burn her. And as the fire begins to burn Sati, she begins to scream. You and I, we love the beings around us so much. We would cry and we would roll and we would lament when somebody dies. How much of us will go into the fire with somebody we like? How much of us will go into the chitta with a person we like? Hello? Would any of you go and sit in the fire? You love your husband, you love your husband, you can't live without your husband, he dies. Would you go and sit on the chitta and be burnt together with him? Baba, I love him, you know, but not so, so much. I love him up to a point. And after that point, then there is no love. Sati Devi, her body begins to burn. And as she begins to experience the pain, Sati Devi begins to cry. She begins to scream. How much times have we screamed and cried out of pain? Out of the pain that our own loved ones will cost us. Out of the pain that the world will draw to us. How much times will we cry? We look at people and we think that they are strong. We look at people and we think that they are healthy. They are more sick than sick. We look at the people and we deem them to be strong emotionally. But only they know how they feel on the inside. We look at people who dress up and smile and try to make everybody else happy. And they are the most unhappy people that you could find. No happiness. No peace of mind. Sati Devi begins to scream and her screams are so loud that Lord Shiva and Mom Gila, she hears the screams of Sati. Have you ever gotten burnt before? How does it feel? Tonight, that word burnt could be interpreted in many different ways. Not only being burnt physically, being burnt emotionally. Have you ever been burnt emotionally? It's the people who talk with you, talk about you. It is the people who laugh with you, laugh about you. It is the people who talk about others with you, talk about you with others. And so Sati Devi is screaming, Lord Shiva, Mount Nandi, and Lord Shiva begins to march to that place as Lord Shiva is making his way. Listen, it tells us. Abba Shiva Pari Karo Mure Naya Abba Shiva Pari Abba Shiva Pari Karo Mure Naya Abba Shiva Pari Shiva Pari Karo Muni Naya Abba Shiva Pari Abba Shiva Pari Karo Muni Naya Abba Shiva Pari Abba Shiva Pari Karo Muni Naya Abba Shiva Pari Yaha Vidhi Beet Gain Katsu Kala Nama Angna Soya Katha Nar Pala जब उमा शंभु कहे थी, भगवान शंकर रशिस तो डेट प्लेस, और रशिंग तो डेट प्लेस, लॉर्ड शिवा रीचेस इन टाइम तू सी सती इन द फायर, बीइंग बर्न, एस अ बॉडी इज इंगल्ड इन द फ्लेम्स ऑफ द फायर, भगवान शंकर गोस एंड ही ग्रेब्स हाउ तू द फायर, एंड ग्रेब्बिंग हाउ इट सो मच ऑफ विगर, विथ सो मच ऑफ Different devis are formed. Looking at Lord Shiva, they begin to smile. Lord Shiva is not paying heed to any other devi. All he is thinking about is Sati Devi. And thinking about Sati Devi, enraged, as enraged could be, he lifts his trishul. And lifting his trishul, Lord Shiva throws his trishul in the direction of his father-in-law. Throwing the trishul in the direction of his father-in-law, he severs the head of his father-in-law. The head falls in one direction. The body falls in the other direction. And as the head and the body, they're separated. What will happen? 
all of the devatas were there. They begin to pray. Oh Lord Shiva, what have you done? You have acted out of anger. You must meet the wrong that you have done right, right away, oh Lord Shiva. You and I, we must not be too big or egoistic to know when is the time to say I'm sorry. We must never be too arrogant to know when is the time to say I'm wrong and I did something wrong. We must never be too proud to apologize even to God and to admit to God, God, I'm not perfect, but I'm on the pathway to perfection. And it says, Lord Shiva, wondering what he will do, Lord Shiva looks at the first animal that he could find. He finds the goat. He takes off the neck of the goat and places it on the body of his father-in-law. You behave as though you behave as though you're better than everybody else. You spoke and you invited all the devotees. You say and you say and you say and you say all the wrong things. Then today I give you a varadhan. May your mouth work all the time, day and night. And may no words come out of your mouth. It is so important for us to learn that whatever we say has an impact. And we must be very careful, me too. We must be very careful about what we say and more so about how we say what we say. Sometimes we could correct what we have said and sometimes there are no excuses. But all of us, we are guilty of that. None of us, we are perfect in that regard. And so, Lord Shiva, sing to him, may your mouth work, may your mouth work. But may no words come out of your mouth. Lord Shiva, he goes to Mount Kailash. He sits there and Lord Shiva begins to cry. Every teardrop that streams down the eye of Lord Shiva forms a Ruraksha. And so that Ruraksha mala and the Ruraksha bands that we wear, every seed that you see or every seed that you wear, those seeds are depictive of the tears of Lord Shiva. The tears started rolling down the eyes of Lord Shiva and falling in the different directions. The Rudraksha trees began to grow out of the tears of Lord Shiva. And as the tears started to flow, the Devatas wondered what they could do to help Lord Shiva. We sing this beautiful bhajan to Lord Shiva this evening. And so, as Lord Shiva begins to cry, the devatas wonder what they could do. We have been told scientifically, scripturally, and otherwise that wearing of the Rudraksha beads help greatly with the way we react, our emotions, our behavior, our attitude. And so it is because it came from the emotion of Bhagwan Shankar, Lord Shiva himself. Lord Shiva sits there and Lord Shiva begins to cry. And as Lord Shiva begins to cry, a demon who is close by hears the cries of Lord Shiva. We must be very mindful whom we cry to. We must be very mindful whom we allow to know our cries. Because not every person who pretends to be our friend is really our friend. Not every person who pretends that they're giving us a shoulder to cry on, they're genuinely giving us a shoulder to cry on. And so crying and crying and crying, the demon, he begins to pray, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai, Om Namah Shivai. Om Namah Shivaya, 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 Om Namah Shivaya. Oh, 
विधि भीत कई कचु काला अंग सुनो कथा पर नर पलाया जब तेज उमा शंभू का तेज गई है बेटे समाधि अंधकार अनुरा गई नवा Chanting the name of Lord Shiva over and over. Lord Shiva, who is overwhelmed with emotional distress, the distress of losing Sati Devi. The demon does not only chant, but the demon marches and makes his way to Mount Kailash. Making his way there, the demon stands in front of Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva, who is crying. The demon looks at Lord Shiva and he bows. Hara Hara Mahare, Hara Hara Mahare, Hara Hara Mahare. Oh Lord Shiva, even the devatas have wronged you and Sati Devi. The demon is saying, even the devatas have wronged you, and there is only one person who has genuine love for you, Lord Shiva, and it is me. Do I'm a demon. Though I'm a demon, I have genuine love for you, Lord Shiva. I want you to bless me with a varadana, with a gift. Bless me, O oh Lord Shiva, that I'll only be destroyed by the hands of your son, O oh Lord Shiva, and by the son of Sati Devi. He knows that Sati Devi has been burnt in the fire, and he knows that Sati Devi, she will not come back to life. She is dead. She is dead. She has died. And so, knowing this, the demon thinks that he is clever. The demon thinks that he is intelligent. Bless me, O Shambhu, that I only die at the hands of your son and the son of Sati Devi. Lord Shiva, crying his bitter tears. Eva must do so shall it be. Lord Shiva says. The demon receiving this varadhan, he leaves Mount Kailash. Where is he going? The demon begins to march. Listen, it tells us. Asandigam sambu tap jagenama man uma karta tap blagenaha karge nanu sila kumare nama tan ki jivan milu bhai dukare. The demon. He makes his way to Indra Lok, the abode of Lord Indra. He goes there to this place where Lord Indra, who is the God of the heavens, is sitting on his throne. And the demon pays no respect to Lord Indra. He holds Lord Indra and tugs him off the throne. And he says, Indra, this throne belongs to me. Move away. Move aside. How would you feel if somebody comes to your home and they tell you where you could sit? They tell you when you could eat. They tell you when you could drink. They tell you what you could wear. How would you feel? Lord Indra, he is confused. Lord Indra decides that he will not fight. He takes the time to ask, to inquire. Oh demon, what gives you the privilege to come and sit on my throne? And the demon says, Oh Indra, if there is a query and a concern that you have, and there is something you need to know, then go to Lord Shiva. Lord Indra leaves. He is marching to Mount Kailash. The demon leaves and he is marching too. And where is he going to? He goes to Brahma Lok. He pulls and tugs Lord Brahma off his throne and he says, Brahma, if there is any query, go to Lord Shiva. And doing this, all the devotees, they begin to march to Mount Kailash. Lord Shiva, seeing the Devatas there, Lord Shiva crying as crying will be, what will happen? Lord Shiva, something happens, the Doha tells us tonight, crying and crying and crying, listen. Sambu gai ti jeda, 
स्कंद महागिरीजा पूजा पीर नाम नया पीर मन नही Marching there, Lord Shiva utters some words to the devotees. You have come in time to listen, and so today I make the vow that I will never, ever, ever get married again. Today I make a vow to you that I will never, ever, ever get married again. Have you ever heard somebody say, "I will never get married," and then all of a sudden you get invited to their wedding? Have you ever heard a boy say that I would never allow a girl to rule my life? And from the time he gets a girlfriend and she says, "Sit down," he asks where. Lord Shiva says, "I will never, ever, ever get married," and you have come in time for me to tell you this. Closing his eyes, the devotees know that they must do something now. The steam man will create havoc. This demon will cause pain to them. The devotees they decide that they will intervene.